What is up everyone, Barricade here and bringing you part 2 of Gears of War Annihilation. I know I've been a little slacking on this guys, I do apologize, I've been kind of dealing with life, work and things like that, and a little bit of laziness I'll admit. But I'm back here so let's go ahead and get started with part 2. Gears of War Annihilation, part 2. Survive. Ivan was driving down the street, on his way to the Spectrum. And from what he saw, everyone was running for their lives. Everyone was in panic, and he needed to make his way to the Spectrum, which normally would be an easy task, but not today, with those things killing people nearby, with the wreckage of vehicles, bodies. Ivan had his work cut out for him. He made it to the main entrance of the Spectrum, and in a panic, actually left his vehicle with the keys inside in the ignition. Not paying attention and being overwhelmed with worry, he rushed to the Spectrum and to the same store that his father always shopped at. He knew that he would be there. He had to be there. Ivan rushed as fast as he could, running down the side streets straight to the store, but he could see that it didn't look quite normal. He could see smoke in the distance coming out of it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. The second I go around this corner, the store's gonna be there exactly how it normally is, and Dad's gonna be waiting for me. He lied to himself and hoped that his father would be there. But when he made it to the store, he saw that the store was in remnants. Broken. Destroyed. And littered with bodies at the entrance inside and outside of the store. But he couldn't find his father. He was afraid to see his father. He thought he saw them among the bodies, but it wasn't him, luckily. As he walked through the halls of the store, memories poured into his mind. His father loved this store. His dad would always jokingly say that they had the best deals and the best food, and he even knew the workers there. Every time they would see them, they always would say, Mr. Flores, and then sell him something half off. Ivan's father was very friendly and could make friends with anyone. And due to this, Ivan's father was always at the store when they needed food, socializing more than shopping, actually. As he walked through the entire store, he saw everyone that he knew as well. His father took him a lot to the store, so he met a lot of these people. And now they laid there dead. Ivan heard a loud noise come from one of the back offices for the employees. He slowly approached it, afraid that it might be one of those things, when he actually did find his father. His father laid there injured, bloody, but alive. He somehow escaped the onslaught of these creatures and hid in the main office in the back, wounded by a gunshot in his arm. He was still very capable to move and was fine. Ivan was so happy to see his father who was afraid to tell him what had happened. That his mother was dead. That the children were gone. He didn't know how to break it to his father. But the very first thing that he had in mind was they needed to make it back to the car. So they left the store and ran all the way back to the main parking lot where Ivan left the vehicle. But it was gone. Someone had taken the car. And now they were stranded. Ivan? Where's the car? Ivan's father asked. I, I left it here. I, I don't know. I just... It's gone. Ivan said, full of panic. They both stared at each other, not knowing what to do. So they made their way back to the Spectrum to hide because they could hear the gunshots in the distance getting closer. They could hear the roar of the creatures. And they knew that they had to hide. So they made their way to one of the main stores in the center of the spectrum. In the back of the store, they found some antiseptic and gauze that they could use to help Mr. Flores' wound. Luckily, the bullet went straight through his arm, so it was a lot easier to clean and take care of. In the back, they heard something move. Ivan slowly approached the sound. Much against his father's dismay, behind one of the doors leading into one of the closets, Ivan opened the door not to find one of those creatures, but a young woman near his age. She had blood red hair and was screaming in panic. Whoa, whoa, relax, 
Relax. We're not one of those things. Calm down. She surprisingly calmed down quite quickly, but was crying her eyes out. We're going to get you out of here, okay? Ivan assured her. Me and my father are survivors as well. We're trying to make our way out of this city. What's your name? In a very scared, sad voice, the girl replied, Sarah? Sarah Hendrick? Hello, Sarah, Ivan said. My name is Ivan, and this is my father. We're gonna get out of here, okay? Meet Sarah Hendrick, the younger cousin to Sophia Hendrick. They were on a trip together when they got separated. Sarah is very worried about her older cousin and wants to do everything she can to find her. She explained her situation to Ivan that they got lost in the initial attack and she wants to do everything she can to find her so they can escape. Ivan reassured her, telling her, Don't worry, Sarah. We'll find your cousin. Let's go. They decided to take the back streets behind the main stores to get further into the city. Their destination was actually a police department about six blocks away. They heard announcements via loudspeakers stating that everyone needed to go there for evacuation, so they went there as fast as they could. They made sure to only take the alleys because the main streets were in gunfights between the cog soldiers and these things. This made the travel there much longer and tedious. Sarah was completely silent for most of the way and did everything that Ivan told her to do. He gave her some sense of safety, even though Ivan would detest that he wouldn't be able to do anything if one of these things had found them. As they made their way, Mr. Flores was completely silent as well, with a look of worry on his face. He finally got the courage to ask Ivan, Ivan, where is your mother? And where are the kids? Ivan turned around and looked his father in the eyes and simply responded with, They... They're gone. The kids were... killed. And mom... She died protecting me. Mr. Flores stayed quiet for a few seconds and responded simply with, Oh, I see. The rest of the way there was mostly silent between the three of them until Sarah said happily, Hey, we're here. Once they made it to the police department, they noticed it was completely crowded with panicked people. Where is the evacuation? I need to get my children out of this godforsaken hellhole said one of the men in the crowd as he yelled at the police officers on the stand. He was met with a generic response. Please stay calm. We are doing what we can to protect everyone from this new threat and get everyone out safely. A police officer said through a megaphone in a very generic monotone voice, almost like if he was reading it from a script. The police department was armed to the teeth with many cog soldiers watching the area with a barrier to protect the crowd from any outside threat. Ivan knew that this wasn't going to help. He knew that these fancy makeshift walls wouldn't mean jack shit when the monsters can come up from beneath them. They stood around for about an hour as the police checked everyone in and set people up to be evacuated in order. Sarah stuck to Mr. Flores and Ivan like glue. She felt safe with them. Ivan was scared to talk to his father. He didn't know what to say. When he looked at him, he could see that his father's eyes were angry, full of hatred. He was showing signs of rage that Ivan never saw in his father. The police officer came back to the stand and began to speak. All right, everyone, we're going to start the evac- He didn't get to finish due to a sniper rifle bullet going right through his head. Everyone panicked and started to scatter when Ivan saw about 10 of those humanoid monsters running into the crowd, gunning everyone down. Ivan, his father, and Sarah all hid behind one of the big loudspeakers that was next to the stand that the police officer was making announcements from. Right in front of them, they could see these creatures with an assortment of weapons killing everyone. 
The man who made a fuss earlier about the evacuation met a horrible fate when he was met with a shotgun shell to the chest. Where are the gears? Ivan said to himself. Weren't they here to protect us? Ivan scanned the area to see if anyone was coming to their rescue when he noticed that most of the gears were already snuffed out by these things and only a few remained. They cowered behind some cover, shooting out to try to fight the monsters. They killed one of the creatures, but the remaining retaliated with a barrage of bullets. The gears were outgunned, outmatched, and were going to die soon. Ivan saw the battle and hid. He was scared. He didn't know what to do, but he felt like he had to help because once the gears were gone, it was all over. He saw one of the gears' bodies not too far away from him. The gear had dropped a lancer on the ground. He somewhat knew how to use one, seeing as Dom showed him once in the past. It was military grade, big, sported a large bayonet, and its recoil kicked like a mule. Nevertheless, he was making his way to it when he saw someone step right in front of him. His father. Mr. Flores stood there grabbing the gun and told Ivan to stay back. As he charged at the creature shooting the gun, screaming, Ivan saw nothing but pure rage in his father's eyes. He took one of the monsters out with it and stabbed the other one in the back with the blade. It screamed as it fell to the ground. Mr. Flores' actions distracted the monsters as they turned around. This gave the gears enough of a breather to reload their guns and open fire. Ivan's father stood in the wide open shooting non-stop until he heard a click. Out of ammo. One of the remaining monsters rushed Mr. Flores unarmed because it was also out of ammo. He retaliated by stabbing it in the gut with the blade. It screamed, but started to choke him. Do your worst, you piece of shit! Mr. Flores screamed. Ivan rushed to help his father. Dad, wait! Dad, no! Before he could reach them, the monster snapped his neck. Ivan stopped in his tracks when he saw this. And at that moment, everything grew silent in his mind. He had lost the kids his mother, and now his father. He stood there petrified and willing to succumb to his fate as the monster dropped his father and approached him. It reached out with its hands to do the same exact thing to him. The silence in Ivan's mind was broken when he heard a gear in the distance yell to get back. The moment the monster was about to grab Ivan, it took a bullet to the chest blood spewing from its wound and onto Ivan's face. Ivan snapped out of his trance to see a gear in full black armor standing before him, complete with a full black helmet. He was huge, over six feet tall, full built like a tank. Ivan was more surprised when the gear's voice sounded a lot younger than expected. You okay, kid? Ivan responded with, yeah. The gear put his hand on Ivan's shoulder and said, hey, I heard you say dad. If so, was that your pops? I'm so sorry I wasn't there sooner. Name's Oliver Carmine, but you could call me Ollie. 